Dogs Kids Club. Yeah! Well, hey there, Diggy Dog. Are you so excited for today's Kids Club? <laughs> Me too. Diggy Dog, what environment are we going to learn about today? all about Diggy Dog? What is that noise? It sounded very familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Diggy Dog, what was that sound? We can't quite figure it out. Diggy Dog, I think we need to hear that again. What do you think? Can you push it for us? Oh, I know what that is. It's a rain stick! The sound it's making sounds like rain! That's it! What environment has lots of rain? I've got it! It's got to be the rainforest! Dicky Dog, am I right? I'm gonna take that as yes! That's awesome! I love the rainforest! <laughs> oh, Diggy Dog, the rainforest is such a cool environment. Don't you agree? <coughs> Diggy Dog, I cannot wait to see what you have in store for us. Wow, look at this rainforest. There are millions of plants, animals, and bugs that live in the rainforest. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Check out that waterfall! It's huge! The rainforest is home to so many different things that there are actually millions of plants and bugs that haven't even been discovered yet. Can you believe that? That's crazy! The rainforest is amazing! Now that's a cool looking tree! Why is it called a rainforest anyways? What do you guys think? Why do you think it's called a rainforest? Oh yeah, because rainforests get a huge amount of rain. Rainforests can get up to 400 inches of rain per year. That's a lot of rain. Trees in the rainforest can grow super tall. Some trees can even grow up to 200 feet tall. That is incredible. Wow, look at how tall these trees are. Rainforest trees are so tall that it can take 10 minutes for one raindrop to travel from the top of a tree through the green leaves all the way to the rainforest floor. That is absolutely unbelievable! Diggy Dog, the rainforest is amazing! Can you believe how tall those trees were? Speaking of trees, I bet we're going to learn about a really cool plant today. Diggy Dog, where are you going? What do you got there? Diggy Dog, I thought we were going to learn about a plant that lives in the rainforest. What did you bring out to us? It looks like a really big eraser? That's kind of weird, Diggy Dog. Is this some kind of clue? Okay, so it is a clue. Where are you off to now, Diggy Dog? Well, I guess this must be another clue. So it looks like the next clue is a shoe. Maybe a little help here, Diggy Dog. None of this makes any sense. All right, Diggy Dog must be getting another clue. Now, what is this, Diggy Dog? A tire? All right, so far we have an eraser, a shoe, and a tire. 
What could this possibly have to do with a plant that lives in the rainforest? Yiggy Dog, I think we need more clues. Okay, here's our next clue. It looks like a rain boot. Oh, Diggy Dog, I still have no idea what this means. Oh, okay, you have one more clue. Let's see it, Diggy Dog. All right, looks like we have all the clues. Let's check them out. What do we have? Okay, it looks like our clues are an eraser, a shoe, a tire, a rain boot, and a rubber ball. Diggy Dog, this is so confusing. Help us figure this out. Oh, okay. Diggy Dog says to think about what all the items have in common. Okay, let's take a look at them one more time. Here they are. Hmm, what do they all have in common? Ooh, I think I know. They're all made with rubber. Now, what does rubber have to do with the rainforest? <gasps> I think I figured it out. Rubber comes from rubber trees. And rubber trees live in the rainforest. That's awesome. Diggy Dog, is that right? Are we gonna learn about rubber trees? Diggy Dog, you're so excited! And so silly! Diggy Dog, you crack me up! You're the best, Diggy Dog! What do you think? Should we check out some rubber trees? I can hardly wait! Oh cool! Look at these rubber trees! Many rubber trees can be found in the rainforest. Natural rubber comes from rubber trees just like these. Check out that little bowl that's attached to the tree. That little bowl is collecting what's called latex, which will be used to make natural rubber. So cool! Natural rubber can make so many things! Just like what Diggy Dog showed us! You can make erasers and bouncy balls and don't forget the soles on your shoes are made out of rubber! We also use natural rubber to waterproof our clothes like in a raincoat or a rain boot! And quite possibly one of the most important things that we make out of natural rubber are tires. Tires that we put on our cars or our bikes so that we can get where we're going. That's so awesome. Who knew a tree could be so cool? Dicky Dog, rubber trees are amazing. They help us to make so many things. Okay, Diggy Dog, so we've learned about a really cool tree. But what about an animal that lives in the rainforest? What's with that button, Diggy Dog? <laughs> Diggy Dog, what in the world was that? What kind of sound just came from that button? Push it again, Diggy Dog. <laughs> Oh, Diggy Dog, I think I know what that is. What do you guys think? What do you think makes that sound? Diggy Dog, tell us, tell us what makes that sound. Oh yeah, check it out. If you guessed monkey, you are absolutely right. Monkeys use loud calls to communicate with each other. Just like the sound Diggy Dog just played for us. All right, so Monkey is our rainforest animal. Awesome.
awesome celebrations, Diggy Dog! I love it! Okay, lean in and listen close, Diggy Dog! Because it's time to learn about monkeys! There are many different kinds of monkeys that live in the rainforest. Monkeys use all kinds of different calls to communicate with each other. Some monkeys yell and scream really loud and can be heard for miles. Wow, did you hear that? That was incredible! What a cool looking monkey! I've never seen one like it before! His nose is huge! Some monkeys might howl, grunt, or even squeak. Did you hear that? Did you hear those little squeaks? Monkeys come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. This guy looks like he's having fun. Check out this little baby monkey! Whoop! There he goes! Wow! There really are all kinds of monkeys! We've seen little monkeys, and big monkeys, and this one's red and white! What? Check this monkey out! He's got a mustache! Monkeys are omnivores! That means that they will eat both plants and meat. Most of the time, monkeys will eat nuts, fruits, leaves, and seeds. They will also eat eggs, bugs, lizards, and even spiders. Oh man, bugs and lizards and spiders? That's crazy. Those were some hungry monkeys. Monkeys live in big groups that are called troops. These troops often have over 30 monkeys in them. And sometimes they will even have up to 500 monkeys in one troop. That is a lot of monkeys. Check out this little troop. There's two babies. Look at that, they're getting piggyback rides. That's awesome. Oh wow, look at how long that monkey's tail is. There's actually something really cool about monkey's tails. Many monkeys have what's called prehensile tails. Ooh, that's a big word. Let's take a look at it. Prehensile. That's a tough one. Let's say it together. Pre-hen-sile. There it is. Pre-hen-sile. Now, what exactly does that mean? Prehensile means that monkeys can use their tails to grasp or hold things. Wow, think about that. We use our fingers and hands to grasp and hold things. So it's kind of like a monkey's tail is a whole extra hand. That's amazing. Oh wow, check out this monkey's tail. <gasps> Look at him go. Did you see that? Look at that, he's holding the tree branch with his tail. Ooh, this monkey's climbing. Oh cool, look at that. He wrapped his tail around the branch. It is just like he has a whole nother hand. That's amazing. Well, this monkey's got the right idea. That looks like so much fun. Let's see that again. Oh, awesome.
awesome! He really knows how to use his prehensile tail! Whoa! Did you see that? I think we need to see that in slow-mo! Okay, here it comes! Wow, what a jump! And he used his prehensile tail to catch himself! So cool! Diggy Dog, monkeys are amazing animals! Don't you wish you had a prehensile tail? You would be able to pick things up and swing from trees with your tail! That would be so awesome! Diggy Dog, the rainforest is an amazing environment! We learned so much today! We learned all about the rainforest, rubber trees, and monkeys! Oh! It's Diggy Dog delivery time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi there! Hi Diggy Dog! I got package for you! Alright! Mailman Lawson brought us a delivery! I can't wait to see what it is! Don't be shy, Mailman Lawson! Open that package! I'm so excited! What could it be? What is it, Mailman Lawson? It's monkeys! Yeah! Monkeys! What colors? There's blue, white, brown. I don't know, Cobbler. You're so silly, Mailman Lawson. I believe that color is tan. What's the last color? Orange. All right. Woo hoo ha ha. Woo hoo ha ha. What do you think, Mailman Lawson? Should we clear some space for the next present? Bye. Woo hoo ha ha. Bye. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. All right, time to open the next package. Oh, yeah, way to clear some space, Mailman Lawson. Oh, cool. What's in the bag? Puzzles. What? A puzzle? Sticky dog, did you hear that? It's a puzzle. All right, Mailman Lawson. Let's see that puzzle. Oh, awesome. Look at all those puzzle pieces. Let's check them out. Mailman Lawson spread them all around. I wonder what this is a puzzle of. I guess we're going to have to put it together to find out. Mailman Lawson, as usual, thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can't wait to see you next time. Diggy Dog, it's so exciting. We got a puzzle and monkeys for Diggy Dog delivery time. What do you think? Should we put this puzzle together so we can find out what it is? <coughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, wow, check out this puzzle. There's so many pieces. What could it possibly be? There's only one way to find out. Let's put this puzzle together. This is a tough one. I still don't know what it is. All right, we're getting closer. Ooh, I might know what it is. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, that's a picture of the rainforest. So cool, there's so many plants and animals. Let's take a closer look. Check it out! There's three monkeys! What else is there? Let's take a look! Wow! So many different birds, animals, bugs, and plants! And that looks like it could be a rubber tree! The rainforest is amazing! What a cool puzzle! Diggy Dog, did you see that puzzle? It was so much fun to put together! This has been a fantastic kids club! What's this all about, Diggy Dog? Why is your bedtime blanky out? Oh, Diggy Dog, you're
you're tired. Diggy Dog is so sleepy and he's ready for bed. But before Diggy Dog goes to bed, he wants to sing a bedtime song with his new monkeys. All right, Diggy Dog, let's sing a bedtime song. How many monkeys are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> let's sing the five little monkeys song. Five little monkeys sitting in a group. This is what we call a troop. Diggy Dog takes one from the ledge and puts him snug into his bed. Four little monkeys on a forest trail love that they have prehensile tails. Diggy Dog takes one from the ledge and puts him snug into his bed. Little monkeys sitting on an edge. One fell off and bonked her head. Diggy Dog thought, oh, what a sight, and tucked her into bed for the night. Two little monkeys eating fruit want more. This is because they are omnivores. Diggy Dog takes one from the ledge and puts him snug into his bed. One little monkey all alone, what a bore. Wish she was with the other four. Diggy Dog takes her from the ledge and puts her snug into her bed. All five monkeys are back as a troop. They all love to be in their friendship group. Rubbing their eyes, they're ready for bed. Diggy Dog kisses them all on the head. Dog, that song was so much fun! And you did such a great job getting your monkeys tucked in and ready for bed! <coughs> what do you think? Are you ready for bed too, Diggy Dog? You are? You sure do look sleepy, Diggy Dog. I think it's time for bed. Diggy Dog would really love it if you would subscribe to his channel and like all his videos. Oh, Diggy Dog, you're so sleepy. You and your monkeys get a good night's sleep. We'll see you next time. Good night, Diggy Dog.